Hey, this is Chris. Wanted to talk to you about exercise. Lee and I have joined the Y. I don't know if we've mentioned this before or not. I can't remember. Anyway, we joined the Y up in Clarksville, Virginia. It's about a 20-minute drive from our house. Well, maybe 22, 23 minutes. There is one in Henderson, which is about the same distance away, but it is much more crowded, and actually, it's much more expensive. So, we went with the low-budget, low-budget, quiet option. And uh, we've really been, in, well, I say enjoying. Enjoying is, is a, a little bit too strong of a word, but I think we're satisfied uh, with the progress we're making. So what we do is we go in, we spend a half an hour on the treadmill, and then we go through a routine on, a 13-step routine on the uh, weight machines, uh, various uh, devices of torture, as Lee likes to call it, call them, excuse me. Um, we work on our, let me see, i got a list here, if I can keep from, you know, wrecking while I drive. Uh, we work out our biceps, our triceps, quadriceps, uh, chest muscles, hamstrings, uh, a lot of shoulder work, it seems like, which is good for me because my shoulders have always been weak, uh, or they felt weak, you know, I just, I've never had a whole lot of upper body strength. I do pretty well lower body wise, but upper body wise I never have, so it's, it feels good. I, I actually do feel like if I'm standing and I cross my arms in front of me, I can actually feel my biceps pressing up against my chest and I could not feel those before. So that was kind of a weird thing the first time I noticed it. Yeah, it just, you know, it's the little things that make, make everything worthwhile. So I know it's doing some good. That's my point. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, do some, uh, where I was weak in my leg work was, um, what's called hip abduction, hip adduction. I could, the first time I got on that machine, I could barely do either exercise because it just hurt. Because it felt like my hip, my, especially my left hip, was going to pop out of the joint. I mean, I was like, I'm not moving this thing any further. Now I can, I've gained a lot of flexibility my hip joints, so I'm thankful for that. Um, back, back exercise, I'm pretty strong on that, I think. I don't know, I don't know what, you know, people who are truly strong can do on the back machine, and, and well, and be honest, you know, you go in there, the people who really know what they're doing, they don't do the machines. They do free weights. And so, you know, they're walking around with their smartphones, which have their free weight exercise regimens on them, and that's what they do. So we are definitely beginners, but, you know, I just wanted to, my, the whole point of getting started in this was not, A, to get in better shape, and B, not to hurt myself while I was doing it. And I know that form is incredibly important with free weights. And so, you know, I, I want to gain some strength before, you know, we start doing stuff like that. And I don't even know if I ever will do stuff like that, to be honest with you. Uh, if the machines do provide the results that I want to see and, and affect in a positive way the way I feel, I think I think we'll probably just stick with the machines. Maybe a year down the road or so, we'll, we'll try something else. So, uh, one other thing about our exercise, I, you, I mentioned that we get on the treadmill. I had been just walking fast and or inclining the treadmill while I was walking and that does burn a lot of calories but uh, this week I made a conscious decision that I was going to start running. Uh, I don't really like to run. In fact I hate to run. It, it's, it's kind of like painting. You know, it's like five minutes after you start you're wondering when it's going to be over because it's so annoying but uh, I'm proud to say that this morning I actually ran a mile on the treadmill. It's five miles an hour. You know, it's not earth shattering, but for me, to actually run a mile, actually I ran a mile in uh, 16 hundreds because I ran for 11 minutes at uh, five miles an hour, and that's what that equates out to. So I was pretty pleased with myself, and uh, I think the thing that pleased me the most was that I had to quit. Well, I didn't have to quit. I probably could have pushed it a little bit further, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not training for a marathon here or the Olympics or anything like that. Um, 
I didn't quit because I was out of breath or my heart rate got too high or, you know, I thought I was going to pass out. My legs just got tired. So, I was pretty pleased with that. I mean, if my legs are just getting tired, I can deal with that. Uh, that's just a matter of endurance and that's just a matter of running more. So, you know, next week we're just going to continue to push the running and, um, looks like on most of the machines... I am up over 100 pounds of weight, except for my hamstrings and my biceps. So, got to work on those, but I'm pretty, I'm really happy to be up over 100 pounds on everything else. And so, you know, I had, I had a certain weight that I did all week this week that was five pounds more than what I did last week. And so, what I will attempt to do on Monday is I will up all of these weights another five pounds. And, you know, what, what I'm going to try to do, I mean, the plan is to up it five pounds a week until I really hit what is my ultimate weight. Because, you know, you can't add five pounds for it. But, you know, we'll just see how that goes. You know, and if I find that I can't add five pounds, I'll just keep doing this until I can add five pounds. So, but it is, is it, it does feel good. I feel satisfied in doing it. Lee feels satisfied doing it. Again, it's not our most fun what are we going to do today? Is that in the top 10? Well, I guess it is in the top 10. It's not in the top 5. Though. Now, there's many other things I'd rather do, but uh, this is about the future. This is about being in good health. This is about maintaining health. You know, we're in our 50s. You know, we just both came to a collective kind of like decision. It's like we need to do something. We can't just not do anything. So, And we knew that if we, if we joined the Y and we were spending money on it, we would go. If we were at home and we had weight machines, and we'd probably just look at them and then we'd sell them like, you know, like we did with the Bowflex a few years ago. <laughs> so anyway, that's our experience thus far, uh, working out, trying to get in shape. Uh, we would love to hear your experiences with working out and getting in shape. Uh, any tips or tricks or, you know, difficulties you might be having, uh, successes you might be having. Uh, leave those in the question and comment section below. Please like and subscribe. We enjoy it when you do that. And we will see you on the next one.